if I want to if I'm going to go ahead and graph this, the first thing I want to do <laughs> the first thing I want to do is go ahead and write this into my conic section form. What you guys can notice is I don't have an H and a K. So therefore, my h and my k, in this example, I'm not minusing anything from x and y. So therefore, those values are going to be 0. So I can say this would look like this, would everybody kind of agree with me? Yes? Well, I haven't gotten to that yet. So if we're trying to graph this, or what we can identify is the vertex is at 0, comma 0, because that is your k and that's your h. Everybody agree with me on that? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Now, I can give, I'll give you guys the formulas for the focus and the directrix, but in my opinion, it's really too confusing to try to like memorize or really understand it. My way that I like to do this is find the value of p. Just find the value of p. So 4p is being multiplied by my x minus h. So therefore, you guys agree with me, 4p is equal to 8. Would everybody agree with me on that? So can I find the value of p? 2. 16. Coefficient. Coefficient. Oh, OK. I thought you were asking a question. So I divide by 4. p is equal to 2. So what did p represent? p represented the distance from my vertex to my focus, focus right? y squared tells me the graph is opening left or right, right? It either opens up left or it opens up right. Since p is positive, should I go to the right or should I go to the left? Right. So here's my vertex at 0, 0. Two units to the right is my focus. And then, rem so now I can write in my focus is at 2, comma 0. And then the next thing I need to figure out is my directrix, which is the opposite of p. So that's going to be 2 units to the left. And then, if you guys notice, that that's a vertical line, right? Because remember, in your formulas, you guys had all these different orientations. But when we have a sideways parabola, we have a vertical line. So vertical lines x equals negative 2. And then, does the, does the parabola open up towards the focus or away from the focus? Towards. towards. Boom, done. Madison, question. Um, how do you negative so remember, if you look at your thing, p was to the focus to the directrix. Opposite of p was to the, I'm sorry, from the vertex to the focus was p. Opposite of p was from the vertex to the directrix. So you just go in the opposite direction. But notice how the distance from the vertex to the focus is the same as the vertex to the directrix. They're just in opposite directions. Okay? 